Okay, uh, so let's go ahead and start by opening up Vegas. I'm not sure if you're using Pro 9, but that would really help. Anyway, so this is how I usually have things set up. I like to have the uh, window here with just a lot of space. I always tend to have this on good uh, half. That seems to work pretty well. Uh, it's pretty much half the exact resolution. Um, room for about four different channels. I don't really use much for my effects because I don't really use effects on here. I just is my organizer. So when you start a new project, you're going to go to properties. In your properties, you're pretty much going to do everything from scratch. So the width is 1280, the height is 720. The frame rate, uh, there's one you can select at the bottom called w, uh, double NTCS. Um, I don't know what, what double it is because film is 24. So anyway, uh, render quality you want best, that's a must. Um, start all new project with these settings because that's what you're going to want to do because you're probably going to be using Modern Warfare the whole time. Uh, stereo, uh, probably going to want to use 5.1 depending on how you record. I use a fiber optic, so I have mine generally set to 5.1, but that just depends on what you're going to do. So if you have it at stereo, go ahead and set it all the way to, to uh, 192. That's the uh, sample rate, so you can get the highest quality. The bit rate is only, only goes up to 24. Now, if you use 5.1, what's cool is you can pick between a few different things, like, uh, I don't know what any of these mean, but uh, the Dolby the Pro Film, whatever, that's probably what you should use the most. The low-pass filter, I I don't really know what that means, so just leave it off. Anyway, um, the low, I guess what this means is, like, a, a, it won't really play that below a certain frequency. It will not, like whatever we're getting into shit that really doesn't matter okay um so oh wait let me make sure i didn't miss anything on that uh 1280 720 59.94 8 bits audio 24 192 i would again I, it depends on what you record if you're using rcas you have to leave it at stereo but if you're using the fiber optic then you can do 5.1 so that's basically just depends on what you're working with Ruler, no idea, no idea, don't care, doesn't matter. Apply, I don't need to because that's my settings already. Um, now I'm going to open up a project so that we can, uh, so I can show you some things. Uh, projects, I, where's the short knives? Okay, uh, no. It shouldn't take long to load this up. Come on. I'm trying to think of something funny or witty to say to kill some downtime, but I'm really falling short. Uh, this project isn't even big. I don't know why it's taking this long to load it. At any rate, when this thing gets loaded up, I'll just give you, um, you know, how to do the proper render settings with the uh, different formats. Okay, great. Here it is. I'll give you the uh, rundown of what, how you, there are different ways to save it, different things you can render it as, but let's just say, okay, so it's building these peaks. Um, I'll show you what this is, and then we'll just use this as an example. Um, you know what I think it's taking so long to load this is because this recording program that when you record your screen, when I'm figuring out is actually really takes a lot of processing power okay so here's the video that I have it um, it's just a care package throwing knife with some music starting and then a few other things nothing too crazy you've seen this one I think you were there for this anyway um, make sure whenever you do this I know you might not already know this but Properties, disable resample, and maintain aspect ratio. So this will be this is what it'll look like every time when you get it. It'll say maintain. You don't want to maintain, and you definitely want to disable resample. Um, right. I don't think you need to know anything else. You just want the render. So let's go to the render as. What I use, what I have found is the absolute best quality. Go down to the bottom and choose XD Cam EX. It's an MP4 that I've only found that VLC will read, and that's only if you update VLC. 
So it's a very, very strange format, but it's absolutely the highest quality, and it's YouTube uploadable, which is the most important. Um, so do this at 1280, 720, 60 frames at 35 megs a second. Um, another way to do this would be to go to Windows Media Video. That's fine. It's a little bit lower of a uh, uh, save rate. It's only 6 megs a second and only will uh, save it in 30 frames. So it's going to look half as clean if you want to think about it like that. Um, the other ones I think is this MPEG-2. Yeah, you can do that as well. There's a few different settings. The only things you can use on this are 720 at 25 frames which is kind of basically film. Uh, I don't use that because it's kind of strange looking. Um, you could use MP4. I mean, that's pretty straight up, but that's only for Apple and it's shitty quality. I think you're pretty much stuck. Um, I suppose you could do AVI. That's pretty good. Uh, you'd have to do... No, I don't know if you could do that. doesn't matter. Just do this. Uh, if you want to be able to play on your computer easily, you don't want to have to worry about anything, just do Windows Media Video and do whatever frame rate you want, but make sure it's at 720. And if you want to have it save really high quality for YouTube, getting it ready for YouTube, go to the bottom, that XD Cam EX, and save it as this one right here, HQ. It's the 1280, 720, it's 60 frames, 35 megs a second, which is pretty high. Um, that's, I mean, if you look, that's what I have, like, everything saved as. Everything I pretty much render final tests out and stuff. That's what I save them as. Um, I think that's it. Um, right. I'm going to go ahead and stop it. If you have any more questions, just let me know.